My name is Asia Sampson, and today on Baptism Overland, the Overlander's Holiday Gift Guide of 2022. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Well guys, it's that time of year again where we're going to be gathering with families and friends and we're probably buying gifts for a bunch of different people. So I wanted to make it this channel's holiday tradition to produce a gift guide for all of you who might be buying something for that person who is into overlanding, camping, adventures, outdoors. I wanted to produce something that will help kind of guide you into the right kind of gift to buy for them. Now whatever products I mention in this gift guide is not going to be a repeat of any products I already mentioned in past gift guides. That way if you don't see anything in this gift guide that interests you then you can go look and peruse through the other gift guide videos and see if there's something there that might spark your interest. And just like last year I'm going to break this gift guide down into tiers. We're going to start with stocking stuffers then we'll do gifts that are sub 200 bucks then we'll do gifts that range from 200 to 500 dollars and then we'll close out with gifts that are above 500 dollars for that special someone that you might want to buy a really really cool gift for hopefully that special someone is me now we have a lot of products to go over so this video might be really really long i don't expect you to watch this from beginning to end Think of this as like window shopping. I'm gonna provide chapter markers at the very bottom. You can kind of just hop around and take a look at the different products. I'm also not gonna do a full blown review on each product, otherwise that will make this even longer and I don't wanna do that to you. Instead, if you find something that interests you, then just do your research and find out more about that product. In fact, a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about today, I've already done full reviews on them on my channel. So just go to my channel, check out those videos, and you'll be able to get even more information on the product that interests you. Now, before we actually get into this really long video where you might actually fall asleep halfway through it, let me go ahead and ask you all for my Christmas present now. Just hit that like and subscribe button for me and also hit that notification bell. That way anytime a new video comes out you'll know. And if you can, just put this video on pause real quick. Jump over to Instagram, find me, Baptism Overland, and follow there as well. If you do that, you will totally, totally make my holidays. Alright, let's just get to it. So let's start out with something simple like stocking stuffers. First up on that list, shameless plug, my patches. This one is the fabric kind that you can sew onto garments. This is also iron-on backed. And then these ones are my new PVC patches. These are Velcro backed and they were made for me by gs-jj.com. I've been plugging them a lot lately because they made these for me for free and I've been able to send them out to a lot of you. So if you want one of mine, hit me up, Baptism Overland on Instagram and then I'll be able to to get these out to you. This also makes a good gift, not these particular patches, but if you know somebody that wants patches made of their own logo and whatnot, go visit gs-jj.com. They'll get you a quote on what it would cost to make your own patches. This is the perfect bungee, and I'm not saying that they're perfect bungees, that's the name of the brand, but I mean they pretty much are. They're only like $8. This bungee can be configured so many different ways. You just loop it and then it hooks into itself. And you can use this in any kind of configuration that you want. It's just so versatile that I wish I knew about these much earlier. In fact, I would love to have a few more because they're just so handy and you can use them for almost anything. Piggybacking off that perfect bungee thing is the Night Ice gear line. And I love this thing. It's a line that will hold a bunch of different stuff for you. Just like that perfect bungee has all these different mounting options on here, the difference is this comes with all the carabiners you see already attached. We use this when we go swimming in the springs during the summer. When we get done with swimming, we can hang all of our wet towels, all of our wet clothes, we just hang it on here. You can even hang this around where you might have your kitchen area and you can put your utensils. This will run you right about $17. We bought this for about $17 at REI and you can find that same price pretty much anywhere. All right, another great stocking stuffer is this Odin Wolf W2 knife. What you're getting here is a really strong knife made with 440C steel and yet the price point for this, $29.90. So it's one of those knives that you can buy 
beat it up and just in case you misplace it or whatever it's not really gonna hurt your wallet so much really nice looking knife as well you got some jimping up here it's a drop point kind of knife the handle is really grippy it's made with this rubber molded rubber material and it comes with a sheath that's also a molded sheath fits really nice locks into place really well comes in a bunch of different colorways you got black you got orange you got green they have different variations of the sheath as well that cost a little bit more just go check out their website and see what they offer all right now here's a stocking stuffer that i mean i'm not sure how you would put this in someone's stocking the florida adventure trail gpx files they're files that we load into an application like gaia or onyx but the florida adventure trail or the fat as we call it around here are the series of trails that can be found in central, northern, and northwestern Florida that was connected together by our friend John Berkmeyer of Sunshine State Adventure Company. About 1,200 miles worth of trails. Cost for the fat files, $20. Like, that's not a lot at all. And here's the great thing. A huge portion of those proceeds goes back to the Wounded Warrior program, so it has a great cause behind it as well. I've got a affiliate code below. Make sure you go check that out. You'll get, I think, 15% off. And uh, yeah, start downloading it and start exploring Florida like today. All right, up next are products from a company that I truly, truly love, who I just really want to thank for the support that they've given this channel. Light Force. Rock 9s, the Rock 20s, and the Rock 40s. The Rock 9s, these are great utility lights. Uh, all, all of these, are, by the way, are 5,000 Kelvin. It's white, but it's not that like, obnoxious white, right? It's like basically duplicating daylight. And this one is, let's see, uh, nine watt lights, 272 lumens per Rock 9. I use these as rock lights. I put them underneath the rig and you know, when we're rock crawling or whatever and you want to be able to see underneath you, we also use it at camp so that I can see what's under the rig and I'm not just walking up and there's a snake under there or whatever. I, I'm really scared of snakes. You can find so many creative uses for this. I also have two of these inside uh, my, my hood. So that way when I need to work on my rig and let's say we're on the side of the road somewhere or if it's at camp and it's dark, I can pop the hood, turn the lights on, I'll be able to see what's underneath there. $30 each. Test them out for yourself and throw them anywhere you want and you'll see how great of a quality they are that you might just end up buying even more. Now the Rock 20s I use as scene lighting. You can put them on the roof rack. You can put them as reverse lights. These are also 5,000 Kelvins, 20 watt LEDs, 1,700 lumens. And then finally, to suit all your pod lighting type of needs, the Rock 40s. Now these ones are white, but earlier this year, Lightforce announced their amber ones and the ambers are awesome. I have those on the Jeep and then I also have a white one that I'm using as my reverse light. They are 40 watt LEDs, 3200 lumens, also 5000 Kelvin. Cost for Lightforce Rock 40s, $178. Earlier this year at the Southeast Florida Expo or Southeast Overland Expo in Florida, I was lucky enough to win a pair of front runner expander chairs. Look how compact it is. I think that's what makes this popular with a lot of people. They're super light and they don't take up a lot of room at all. They open up pretty easily. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It's hard to do this when I'm... Ah. All right, Asia, don't look stupid in front of the camera. You have no idea how difficult it is to do it on a table. If you're looking for a compact, no-nonsense camp chair, it can't get any simpler than this. This is popular with a lot of people for many different reasons. It's basically just that, just a chair. You're not gonna get a lot of bells and whistles on this, but what you lack in all those like other different features, you're gonna make up for in the way it's so compact. This does have some minimal storage on the armrest. On one side, you have a pouch that can fit a phone, your wallet, and then on the other side, you have another small pouch that can fit like your keys and other small small items, plus like a little slot that would probably fit like a can of soda or a can of beer. Now putting this chair away is also pretty simple. It just takes a lot of getting used to. It's hard to do it when it's above you, but we'll, we'll see if I can try to do that. No, oh, look at that. These run about $79 each. Why are you making me look stupid in front of these people? You ever talk to inanimate objects like it's their fault? Like especially with what we do when we're modding stuff, like I am yelling at tools all the time. All right, up next is the Helinox Blancho. I really, really like the name, I think it's cute. Blanket with poncho, genius blanket coat type of thing. So if you're sitting around the campfire or whatever, you can 
kind of throw one of these on and then directly from your chair you can go right into your tent and go to sleep and see what's cool about this is she has that hole Ugh, I don't know what I was thinking. It's already hot enough in here as it is. The Blancho will run you about $89.95. Just a nice piece of gear to have. I keep this inside the vehicle all the time just because you can use this anywhere. You know, go to beach at night. You can take this to picnics, take this to, you know, tailgating, and you'll have a blanket slash poncho wherever you go. The ARB recovery bags. I did a review on these a few months ago. I love the look on these. Bright orange because you know when you're doing recovery you're moving all over the place. You're like oh where'd I put my bag? This just makes it easy to kind of spot. Everything on these bags are super reinforced like the zippers on here are like thick humongous zippers. The buckles are humongous buckles and then what I really like is that the bottom is super reinforced on both of these like you have this really tough fabric on this one and then you have like this rubber uh, fabric on this one again you're putting them down on the ground and these are super heavy that if you don't want them getting scuffed up you're using them outdoors you're using them when you're crawling you're using them when you're on the trails so having something that's reinforced is going to help out in preserving these bags for a long time my wife gave me the small one for christmas last year if you want to go minimal this would be a good bag it carries about one strap uh, you can put in like a uh, an apron you can put in uh, a couple of other little things but there's not really a lot of room so i started using this for my four-way tire inflator and then there's also different compartments where you can kind of drop things into but if this is not enough for you if this is not enough for your recovery gear that is then you can move up to the big boy this is the large and this will basically carry everything inside they have it pretty much labeled so you can carry about two straps I got two straps in here your right here it says a trunk protector I have that your winch strap here you have your snatch strap and then here there's a label for your snatch block on the side so you can fit in your ugh, really heavy snatch block on this side I have my soft shackles and then on the other side I have my d-ring shackles which are obviously even heavier and that's in that side the small comes in at $59 and the large one comes in at 96 all right up next are Midlands X talker radios these are FRS and GMRS radios you'll need these I know a lot of people want to mount radios inside their vehicles and for good reason you don't need to recharge them you'll be able to talk to people you can put a longer antenna and get more range but if you're hitting the trails and you're going rock crawling and someone needs to spot you they're leaving your vehicle to kind of guide you through an obstacle they'll need to be able to talk to you so you need to be able to hand them one of these and then they can talk with you it comes with a base station to charge it up I just leave this in the garage these will run you about $99 and you can pretty much find them anywhere pants by a company called Livson one for my wife and one for myself I just got these that's why we haven't even had a chance to really try them out yet I did put them on and they're super comfortable okay so I'm a dad right and Although I'm a dad, I'm just not ready to fully commit into the whole dad uniform thing. And what I mean by that is, I don't think I'm ready to go head first and start wearing like cargo pants with the humongous pockets on the side. Now, if you do that, it's no offense to you. By all means, that's what you like, do it. I wanna wear cargo pants that don't look like cargo pants. These are that same kind of cargo pants material, very rugged, you can wear them outdoors, get them dirty. These are flex though, so that means that they kind of stretch to your legs a little bit so that you're not wearing these humongous baggy pants. And when I say cargo, it has those other pockets without it just bulging from the side. So on one side, you have this little side pocket here kind of going down your thigh so you can hold your pocket knife there. And then on the other side, you have another one so you can probably hold your multi-tool there. And then the rear pockets on these, inside, they're lined with a zipper. That's important to me. We're crouching down, we're sitting on a chair, and, and things will fall out. And before you know it, you've lost it because it just fell out of your pocket. And you're never going to find it because you're in the middle of the woods. Having something like this that you can zip up and kind of store whatever you need, your wallet or whatever, and then zip it up, then you know it's secure. And then on the front pockets, one side is your regular pocket here. But on this side, you have your regular pocket, 
but it has another hidden pocket in there that has a zipper. I mean, I don't know who's gonna pickpocket you in the woods, maybe a bear. Same thing with the woman's pants, by the way, too. So you have the same kind of pant system here, but their pocket is a little bit bigger. Side pockets have a lot more room. You can probably put a cell phone in this one, and then you have a bigger one over here. The women's, on the front left pocket, you have your regular pocket there, and then you have a smaller pocket here that's zippered. And then for the bottom is where they kind of defer, right? So on the men's, you have this little button here, and then if you dig inside, you're gonna find a strap like this, and then you can tie it up, and then you'll be able to hike your pants up. For the women's though, it doesn't do that. There's no button, but what it does have is it has this elastic, so wherever you put it, it'll stay put, and then you just tighten it with one of two settings. You can have it all the way open like this, or you can kind of tighten it up. Prices for these on the Livson website, $119. You can buy cargo pants anywhere. You can go to H&M and buy cargo pants, but guess what? Those things are gonna rip. After a while, you wanna kinda get yourself a good pair of outdoor pants that you can use hiking, uh, camping, and then if you want, you can use it for flights or you can use it at theme parks or whatever, and they're gonna be just a really nice, everyday, all weather kind of pants. For you. And then finally, rounding out all the items sub $200, the Front Runner drop down tailgate table. This thing has been a champ. This is one of the first things that when we get to camp, I am putting that thing down because I use it for a lot of different reasons. I've done my computer work on it. I have set up my camera gear on it. I have food prepped on it. That's actually one of the benefits of this table is that it has a pull out cutting board which just doubles the work area. I can do my cooking and frying and everything on the metal side and then on the cutting board side, I can season meats, cut vegetables, cut fruits, all that good stuff. Comes in at about $199, which is why I'm including it in this category of everything sub 200 bucks. Makes for a really, really great gift, you guys. Buy this for somebody and I can guarantee you they would be ecstatic, especially if they own a Jeep because this thing fits in really well with the Jeep tailgate, whether that's a JK or JL, but really any overland rig that has a swing out tailgate or anywhere that they can place a drop down tailgate table, buy this for them. And I'm telling you, they're going to be excited. All right, we are now moving on to the category of gifts to fall anywhere between $200 and $500. Here's where you're gonna start to see some gear that's a little bit more premium, has a ton more features. Case in point, the water port. Now this is the water port day tank. Holds 3.8 gallons of water, and we bought this a couple of months ago, and we love it. We have used it so many times, and not just camping and overlanding, which we use this for that. We use it to wash dishes and shower, but we've also used it whenever we're going to the beach and we need to rinse our feet or rinse ourselves off. It comes with this little plate here on the back and then another plate that you attach anywhere you want, and it just kind of slides in, and then you can put a bolt through to hold it in place, or you can even put a padlock so that no one can steal this from you. Hand pump, that way if you wanna manually pump it up, you can do so, but you can also attach an air compressor to it and make your life a lot more simpler. And then I also bought this little accessory on the side here, which just holds your hose, which the hose is here somewhere. The day tank runs for $239, again, 3.8 gallons. Awesome piece of gear and would make an amazing gift. The Max Trax Mark II. <laughs> I'm kind of laughing because there's that whole joke about like you're not an overlander unless you have max tracks mounted to your vehicle, right? I, I try not to keep this mounted on the vehicle. I actually keep it in the garage because why do I need to roll around town with it if I'm just going to McDonald's? This is your first solution that you're going to attempt when you get stuck. You put these under the tires and then hopefully you get enough traction to get yourself out of that situation. This comes in right around $329 and available in a multitude of colors. So whoever you're buying Max Trax for, just take a look at their vehicle and see what color might look good with their vehicle, especially if they have a color scheme kind of going. I'm sure if they don't have Max Trax already, they're gonna be super ecstatic that you bought this for them. Just tell them don't go around town with this if you're not really using it. Keep it in your garage. Don't be that guy. Damn, shots fired. All right, up next is a company that I've done a ton of reviews for, My Medic. They just make some really nice premium first aid kits. If you follow my channel, you'll have seen me do reviews on a 
ton of their different kits, but in my opinion, my favorite kit from them of all time is the My FAK kit, especially now that they've redesigned it. it. This comes in a ton of different colors, so if you are gonna mount this inside your vehicle, you want something that'll stand out a little bit or something that'll match a little bit with whatever color scheme you got, you can go and do that. Now, one great feature about this that I love seeing on first aid kits is the rip away kind of system. So you basically mount this to a molly panel inside your rig and then when you need your first aid kit like on the go you don't have to sit there trying to unbuckle it from the back you just have to unclick this on the front take this and it rips away from the backing this is the pro by the way so the pro will have this feature which makes it into a bag so my wife really really likes this because if we're gonna go hiking we can kind of just carry this with us like a bag I'm not gonna go through all the contents inside because there is a video I released uh, about a month ago but if you'll see everything is really really laid out nicely all the stuff are color-coded this is the pro so you're gonna get a ton more stuff with the pro that you wouldn't get in the other kits the pro version comes in at $319 if $319 is too out of your price range though just go on their website and you'll be able to see a bunch of other kits that might be even cheaper than that but if it's not enough they also have other kits that just give you even more like the recon I own the recon kit and that one has pretty much everything the Midland MXT 575 I just got this in the mail. It's actually still in its box. This was sent to me by Midland to install in the 4Runner. Thank you guys for that, by the way. Uh, last year, I installed the MXT275 in the Jeep, bought that with my own money, and I have loved that thing. We hit the trail, and I'm getting a ton of range. Everybody's coming in really clearly. Plus, I don't have to recharge it because it's already hardwired in the Jeep, and that thing only has 15 watts of power. Well. Earlier this year, or maybe before that, Midland released the MXT575, which has 50 watts. In about a couple of weeks, I will be doing an install and a review video on this thing, so stick around for that. But one thing I just wanted to mention right now is that the main reason that I like the MXT series, whether that's the 275 or the 575, is that all the controls are on the handheld itself, which means that you can hide the unit hide it in the glove compartment, in the middle console, underneath the seat, and the only thing that's really visible and close to you is the handheld. And then, when you're not using it, if I'm just daily driving, I unplug the handheld and hide it somewhere in the rig. That way, no one's looking in the rig, sees that I have a radio, and wants to steal it. Like, they'll never know I have a radio. This will run you right around $399, and it has 50 watts of power. But if you don't want to do that and you feel that that's too overkill you can still get the MXT275 and that runs about $164 and then finally to close out all of our gifts ranging from $200 to $500 the Garvin InReach Mini let me see make sure I get that focus because my face is in the way this is a satellite device that will allow me to call for help or whatever in those situations where I may not have cell signal my wife got this for me because outside of just overlanding and camping I travel a lot for work and sometimes I end up in places where there's just no signal at all what if something happens to me and there's no way for me to get in touch with anybody well having something like this as long as I have a clear shot to the sky then I can call for help there's an SOS button right there I just have to click that and help will come or I can even text message my wife now that's not gonna be my primary way of communicating obviously because that'll get super expensive but I can send a text if I'm in a place where there's no signal I can at least let her know that I'm okay plus because I gave her access she can actually follow me online on uh, Garmin's website and see where I'm at so in the event that I don't come home they'll know where the last location of this thing was this is 400 bucks for just a unit but you have to pay for the service it usually runs right around 60 bucks a month but you don't have to pay that every month except on the months that you want to activate it so you can turn it on and off as you see fit peace of mind knowing that if I ever get stuck somewhere I have a way to reach out and call for help. All right, guys, this is it. Final tier gifts over $500. You'll find that I didn't put a lot into this section. Outside of vehicle mods like bumpers and tires and wheels, I just don't see myself wanting to spend 
more than $500 on any kind of gear except for a couple of things. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. Up first, the front runner camp table. This is one of those things I used to see on their website and I would think to myself like, why would I ever spend that kind of money on a camp table? And then I got it and then I got it. Like I understood immediately why this has the price tag that it does. Number one, the quality on this table is like top notch. Stainless steel, this thing will take a beating, it looks good. And then number two, it's also really sleek. Like it's easy to pack, it's not like one of those big cumbersome white tables that just open up that you buy at Walmart for cheap. And when you're buying this table, the reason why it has the price tag that it does is because you're not just buying the table, you're buying the table kit, which basically has rails that you could put on your front runner roof rack or basically any kind of slatted kind of roof rack. And then you can just slide the table in there and you're not taking up any space in your cargo area. Now, every time we go camp, I have a table on hand without me having to pack it inside the cargo area of my Jeep. I'm telling you, this has become one of my number one favorite pieces of gear for camping ever. Price for this, for the whole kit, is about $700. 700 bucks, but man, totally, totally worth it. The Light Force Genesis. You know, it's really, really important to get high quality off-road lights. Like, don't just buy your generic off-road lights that is not gonna give you the kind of lighting to look cool, yes, right? You can go get Amazon specials all day, but if you are trailing at night or you are in the middle of nowhere and you need to be able to see in front of you, I think we can kind of get overkill on other lights, like we're putting lights on the roof, we're putting lights underneath, we're putting lights everywhere, and those are great, especially when you're around camp. But for safety reasons, if you are driving in the middle of the night, you need to be able to shine light and shine it clearly. I mean, look at this. All these LEDs is just going to throw some really nice bright white light down the road for you. Same as their other lights, 5000 Kelvin. I think that's just the right color temperature. It's just, it's going to mimic daylight for you. It's going to look so nice and it won't fatigue your eyes. You're also looking at 140 watts, 210 millimeter reflector array, raw lumens, 15,540. Effective lumens, 9,030. Input voltage, 10 to 32 volts. Current draw, 10.5 amps. And you have an estimated lifespan of about 50,000 hours. A pair of these is gonna run about, let me just double check my notes. It's going to be $630 for a pair of these. That being said though, as much as I love these lights, these are not my favorites because my favorites I actually have on the G. The Light Force HTX2s. I mean, you're talking a full LED all the way around, but in the middle is HID. The HTX2s are Light Force's flagship light. Like those are the lights they are known for. They are a little bit pricey. A pair of HTX2 lights is gonna run right about $1,071, but it is to me worth it because you're gonna get high quality lights that are gonna last you a really, really long time. Let me rephrase that, it's not for you, it's for whoever you're buying it for, right? I mean, it's okay to gift ourselves presents over the holidays, right? Self-love. And then finally, to close out the holiday gift guide of 2022, products from the company that's currently sponsoring this video, Zero Breeze. In last year's gift guide, I talked about the Zero Breeze AC unit, and we have loved that thing. We take it every time we go summer camping or anytime it's hot outside. It keeps us cool, keeps the tent cool. It's been awesome. But a lot has changed since that gift guide of last year. One being, I've become one of Zero Breeze's ambassadors. And when they asked me, I was totally honored because I really, really like their products. Number two, they have since released new products outside of just the AC unit. One of them, one of their biggest, well, the biggest one that they released this year is the Zero Breeze Elect Hive 2200 power bank. 2200 watts of power you guys like this thing will power anything as great as the ac unit was the challenge was keeping that ac unit going for longer periods you could buy extra batteries that will keep it running longer but you're only going to get maybe two to five more extra hours on those extra batteries which means you're bringing more batteries or you could plug it up to another power bank but those power banks will like basically die after five hours as well so they decided let's just come up with a power bank that is compact 
but has enough juice to run that thing for up to 14 hours. And that's what this is. And it's not just to run the AC. You have so many ports here to be able to run fridges, to recharge batteries, to basically have power off grid. And then with the Elec Hive, they created a bunch of other product offerings with this as well. One being their solar panels. These solar panels, you can plug it directly to this to keep this thing topped off during the day or plug it up to the AC unit to keep the AC unit going. They also came out with this thing. This thing will bring this from zero back to like 100 in only two hours. 2200 watts back to 100% in two hours. The Elec Hive 2200 runs for about $2,190. The solar panels, these are $349 each. The power supply, this is $399. But I want you to think about it this way. As great as it would be to have this just so you can go overlanding and camping and being off grid, we have found that we used a lot of this stuff during hurricanes. Here in Florida, power will go out. Having a power bank like this is not just good to go overlanding and camping with, it's good for those emergency situations. And then as a bonus, you're using it off grid when you're camping and overlanding. If you if you reframe the way you think about these type of things that way, then it's easier to kind of justify why you would spend that much. Whew, we did it. We got through it. The Overlanders Holiday Gift Guide 2022 is in the books. Ah! I did just want to say a quick thank you and happy holidays to the companies. I'm going to use my list here because I don't want to forget anyone. Like Zero Breeze, Light Force, 67 Designs, My Medic, Midland Radio, Harbor Freight, Front Runner, Pillow Cube, Gorilla Dirt, Last Fit, and Free Spirit Recreation for all the support that you have given me and my family and this channel over the last couple of years. And for the rest of you who are still here and still watching, my biggest and most sincere thank you and happy holidays. Without you, this channel wouldn't exist. I am humbled that you continue to subscribe and watch these videos that I put out. I just want to remind you, it's not about the gifts. It's about being around family and friends and just enjoying the season. But, I mean, if you're going to buy gifts, this is not a bad place to start. Happy holidays, everybody.